What is up comic creators? I'm going to show you some really neat things you can do with filters like you can like legitimately make your uh, footage look pro just by using these filters without even doing any color editing. So I've got these three clips here I've been working on in iMovie just editing and having fun with them. So I'm going to show you what you can do here in each one of these clips. Um, but it's really ridiculously easy. I can't believe it. nobody has really focused on this before and just showed people how to do this. So you click the one clip you want to edit. I'm going to do my mountain clip here. You're going to click on these little three filter icon up here. And then this is going to unlock the uh, menu for all your filters. When you click that down, you'll see all these options and it'll give you a, a highlight. Now, immediately when you look at these, it's like, this is ridiculous. This is not going to be able to help me. However, um, when you're going through and you actually click one of these filters to add, uh, it's just like any LUT or filter you would use on like Adobe or CapCut. Like you can do different things here. So like um, I'm going to click on a couple of different options here just to kind of show you uh, what you can do. I think there's like a hard light option uh, that always looks pretty good on most of it. So when you click it, then you go right here to adjust the strength of it. And so you can tone it down and adjust the strength of the clip itself. And then look, I'll show you like the reset. So I'll show you like the before um, on there. And then hang on, let me get this place here. So yeah, so then I'll show you like uh, the before and then after before. And there's your after the before. So you gotta see like how it looks. It actually makes a legit difference on your clip and makes it look good just by doing that. Like you don't have to do much else there to make that look good. You can see the difference when I do the before and after. Um, it's insane. How that looks so good um and i don't so i mean you can just kind of roll with that and your footage looks uh, legit right there and you know uh you have to actually reset it as you're playing it so you can kind of see the difference you're making but it looks like pro shot footage i mean it's pretty cool so here's like my forest one uh, just make sure you're highlighting the correct clip as you do it and so i'm going to open up these filters again and you can kind of see all the different options here i can go crazy with this thing and do nuts uh weird stuff with it but uh they, yeah oh they got the sci-fi option so that looks pretty good in and of itself with the forest but then i just tone it back just a bit just so it's not so like in your face and gross looking so there's your sci-fi one and uh tone it back reset there's before after before after i mean that looks really good that looks like something uh, straight out of a, uh, a professionally done video and that's just touching that just with the filter itself and so it's super easy super easy to look to look decent so i wanted to show this to you guys um you know if you're in a rush and you're trying to clip bus clips out fast and you don't want to have to put a lot of thought into this that is a really easy way uh to really make your footage look good that hard light uh, option uh, works pretty well on most uh, clips uh, just so you know that sci-fi one worked out there but here's like the one I have this dude walking I've done this in a bunch of my videos um, see this is the importance of making sure you're highlighting the right clip when you click this stuff so I accidentally highlighted my uh, cinematic bars uh, on here and that's why uh, that looks that, that that's why it's all black on the option so when I click the correct clip then I open up that those filter options. There you go. Now you're looking at the correct thing. But look at the craziness I can do here. Like, look, just to show you, like, here's this orange one. You know, you tone it back. I could totally see in a certain project, if you're going for a certain feel, how that would be the look that you go for with that. Uh, but that is another option you can do. I mean, it honestly looks really good. You know, there's your before, after. If you, if, like I said, if you're going for a certain feel in your project, uh, that would actually work. I mean, you can, you should play around with all of these. Some of them obviously aren't going to work so good, uh, but they have a whole bunch of different options. Like there's your black and white. And then if I tone that back, it just adds like kind of like this muted color look to it, which actually in a lot of projects and commercials and stuff, that would actually look good as well. If you're going for a certain look in your video and you're doing iMovie stuff, either you don't need to download a filter like that right there would make a lot of make a lot of uh you know footage look really really good just that nice muted tone to to your footage but um you guys should definitely check this out definitely play with this uh definitely do all that kind of stuff with it i mean all these options uh look really good i think uh you could really see a, a really good uh in increase in the look of your footage if you do this like there's blockbuster uh and then um you know the hard light obviously i think what i found is the hard light one it, it works across the board most of the time here's your blue option so you can kind of see i'm throwing that on there you know tone it back a little bit i mean there's a lot of different things you can play around with in here but um and then ultimately i'm this one i think is kind of going to be the the home run here so yeah let's tone it back and then you do uh and i'll show you the before you know before so there's your 
how it looks and the new i mean it just makes it look really cinematic and i mean you know you don't have to really do much of anything uh to get that look so um i really think this will help you guys out you should definitely uh try this experiment with it um let me know if you have any questions or comments in the comment section below um have you guys known about this have you used this before is there any other things you guys know about that would help people enhance footage like this so simply without having to do much color editing or anything like that um i i i uh, think this is going to really help a lot of people and i hope it does and i will um, catch you guys in the next one Hey, if you kept watching through this uh, video up to this point, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. All those things really help the channel growth, and I want to thank you guys for all the growth that we are seeing. I appreciate it very much. All of your interactions and engagements help the channel grow. It feeds the algorithm, which is exactly what we need. Uh, please take the time to check out more of the iMovie tutorials I have on my channel. I'm remaking a lot of those for the new year and making all new versions. And let me know if you guys have any questions or comments in the comment section below. See if I can help you at all. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.